melody in music for a while. Let's look at all the different devices that we have for melody. So first of all, we have a soprano line. So the soprano line is the main melody and it has roughly um, a compass of a ninth. OK, so the lowest note that you can find is actually here. The E above middle C, that's your lowest note. OK, but the highest note that we have is actually the F, which is an octave higher. OK, so if we scroll through, you can see it's mostly quite nicely down here, but there's the F there. And you can see it's again there. And there's the lowest note, E. OK. There is an ornamental G, actually, which is a little bit higher. So let me see if I can find that and mark that in for you. It's on the last page. So here we have, can you see there? That's, sort of, that's an ornament that we've added in. We'll talk about ornaments in a moment. But that makes it slightly more, but it that to a certain extent is optional for singers, the actual compass of the piece is a ninth, okay? We know from looking at the melody, even just on this page here, we can see that lots of the melody is conjunct, okay? So you can see it moves scalically. It is conjunct, okay? Not all, occasionally. So for example, um, let's see what we can find. We do have leaps, so for example here, the all all section is leaps, okay, but it's mostly conjunct, it's stepwise. Let's go back to the beginning. Let's talk about different types of ornamentation. We have passing notes. So a really good example of passing notes is beat four of bar five. So here is bar five, and you can see it has F, E, D, C, B. Passing notes are the notes between, so the offbeat notes. So actually the harmony here is F, D, B. But because there's a third between each of those notes, we insert what they call passing notes. OK, so that's passing notes. You can see actually here, while we're here, that there's a lot of use of rests. And rests are quite frequent in this piece, and they're often used to break up the melody, OK? So it's quite an unusual thing, but here, rests used to break up phrases. That's important. And there's another, in case you haven't spotted it, another leap section here. And it's worth noting here, leaps no greater than a perfect fourth. So we do have leaps, but there's not that many. There's also some more passing notes here that's worth noting. And you can see it would it's the same pattern as it would have been before. OK. So let's have a look at ornaments. We've mentioned passing notes. Let's have a look at trills. So bar 13. We have trills, OK? There's a good example of a trill. If you listen to the music, you'll be able to tell what the trill is, but it's, it's, a, it's a rapid alternation between two notes. We have mordants and arpeggiaturas in grace notes. Let's see what we can find. Let's go bar one for a lower mordant. OK, so here we are, bar one. This is a lower mordant, OK? Now we do have others. We have grace notes. So let's find a grace note on bar six. And that's here. So there's your grace note. OK. If we move forward through the piece, let's find bar 22. So bar 22, this is an upper mordant. You can see it's an upper mordant because it doesn't have the line through it that the lower mordant does. And the upper mordant means it uses the note above the main note, whereas the lower mordant uses the note below the main note. 
Okay. Let's just skip to the end. Bar 35, you can see here we have a Podgiaturas. Okay, see there's a lower mordant again here, but that's a new one there, a Podgiaturas. Okay. Now, the one more thing to note in this piece is another construction point about sequences. Okay, so a sequence is a repeated pattern that doesn't stay at the same pitch. It might move higher, it might move lower. And the best example of this is the chorus for Ding Dong Merrily. So, for example, Gloria. So you can hear it's the same pattern, but it shifts. Okay, so we have an example of that in bar 20. Okay, here. And you can see, let me change colour so it's really nice and obvious. So you can see here that we have this, followed by this, followed by this. And you can see, starts on the E, starts on the D, starts on the C. So it's a descending sequence. Okay, so that's nice and obvious. It's a really good part there. OK, so when you're listening to music, see if you can listen out for those sequence 